As home broadband speeds have gradually increased and more powerful computer hardware has found its way into the hands of consumers, the number of people consuming television via the internet has increased exponentially. Internet TV is defined as the digital distribution of television via the internet, and it started off as a method for traditional broadcasters to deliver their content to consumers. Over the years, however, internet TV broadcasting has become more accessible to average people, and a quick search of any internet TV streaming site will, re will reveal hundreds of streams operated by individuals from within their homes. With the increasing prominence of Internet TV, iNet Online decided in the summer of 2012 to jump on board with the revolution and start a new 24-7 streaming service, iNet Live. Um, we hope to accomplish, I guess, something that's, you know, just equally educational is entertaining. I mean, a lot of our programming is, you know, serious and as well as just completely off the wall. Mikhail Bush joined the INET team in 2009, and he was the first one to really get serious about starting a 24-7 broadcast. But I think ultimately the goal is that we have people who are, you know, even if they don't like our station or whatnot, at least they'll have the audacity to go and search for whatever they're looking for. And I think that's one of the major things that is also an issue when it comes to television, is that people are just not going on their own accord and seeking out what they probably would really enjoy or or knowing what they don't enjoy when it comes to television. So the idea was there, but now the difficult task of actually implementing that idea was before us, and the investigation into software packages began. Most internet TV streaming services offer a web interface that uses the Adobe Flash plugin to connect to a local webcam attached to the computer. These web interfaces are not suitable for 24-hour streaming, and Mikhail and I quickly came to the realization that a standalone software package needed to be used. Such a package was found in the video switching application VidBlaster. VidBlaster is a software video switching application that allows the user to stream live sources, including webcams and TV tuners, as well as recorded media stored on the computer's hard disk. VidBlaster also allows for the easy creation of on-air graphics and looped playlists for continuous broadcasting. While VidBlaster is great for controlling live sources and simple playlists, it is impossible to automate the application and schedule specific programs to air at specific times. It was at this point that the hunt was on for an automation application that could handle continuous, scheduled playback. It turns out that when one runs an internet search for TV automation software, a whole bunch of hits come up. Unfortunately, most of the results uh, consisted of buggy or complete crap software, or software that didn't offer a trial version, which, from my experience, buying software without first trying it out is always a mistake. Eventually, the realization came that a homebrew solution needed to be used, and I eventually settled on a combination of Windows Task Scheduler, VLC Media Player, and the VCAM Virtual Webcam Software. Using the rather convoluted method, VLC is scheduled to start playing a recorded broadcast at a specific time using the Windows Task Scheduler. The output of VLC is then sent to a virtual webcam created by the VCAM application. VidBlaster then receives the video stream from VCAM and overlays graphics before sending the resulting video stream to the internet via the Livestream Content Distribution Network. Certainly not the most efficient solution, but it works, and was much easier than trying to code custom automation software. INET is primarily a provider of on-demand content, and as such, the amount of total original video that has been produced is just over 24 hours. Not very much to put on a continuously broadcasting stream. Because of the small amount of original programming, the executive decision was made to fill the vast majority of INET Live's broadcast schedule with retransmitted news from a variety of international news agencies like Al Jazeera, NASA, Press TV, among others. Segments of time are reserved for original INET programming loops, and the ability to go live at any time, day or night, is made possible through the use of VidBlaster. 
Using the rather obscure software solutions outlined in this report, and by filling the majority of the airtime with retransmitted news content, INET has entered a new era in its broadcasting history, 24-hour live streaming. For more information about INET's live stream, or to watch it yourself, visit our website at inetonline.ca. For INET, this is Christopher, reporting.